Today we're going to put new shocks on the Triglide and in order to do that we're going to have to take the tires off and I'm also going to take the body off so that's the first thing that we're going to start doing and we'll do that by removing the seat and then we're going to disconnect the negative ground wire on the battery and then we pull off the two side panels that are underneath the seat and then we'll pull out the trunk liner and uh, we'll start taking it apart, get it jacked up, get the wheels off and off we'll go. Okay, to remove the seat, there's just a single screw in the back back here. Twist that off, pull that out, lift up the back, pull the seat forward, and that's all there is to taking off the seat. Alright, before I pull the battery off, I'm going to take the uh, fuse out. And you get to the fuse by removing the side cover. And there's that red fuse right there, we'll pull out. Get the negative battery terminal off. It is exposed. Move the uh, ECU out of the way and you have easy access to it. Take the screw off and move the wire out of the way. The next thing we got to do is disconnect the wiring harness and that consists of four wires, your CB antenna, your regular radio antenna, and then the two lighting antennas. So the CB one here, you just push down on that, pull that apart. Over here we're going to do the same, push down on the black one, push down here, pull apart. And then the last one we got is the antenna, which just pull right out. And that's it. We're we're disconnected, but we gotta pull this guy out of here. Okay, there's a clip under here. It looks like. So let me put a screwdriver in that. Pull it, pull it forward. And that'll take it off. So all right, now we got this out of the way. We got one more connector that we gotta disconnect over here. It's right here. And that is the last one off the body. So I know it's dark in there. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see. But the uh, bed liner and everything comes out. It's held in with Velcro. So the first part you take off is the bottom piece. piece out and then the next piece is just the upper liner which then just comes out like that and now we'll be able to get to the bolts in the back and we'll try to show you those all right now here's a look inside the trunk so we've got four bolts we got that bolt right there that bolt back there another bolt over here a bolt over here and then up above we've got a bolt there that's got a ground strap on it and that other bolt over there and that's all we need to get the body off all right so we're gonna <clears throat> jack up the back of the trach here got it in my wheel chuck up there so it's not gonna go anywhere and I made this spacer block here because you you kind of need you need a little space here because the oops is where we're going to connect to the frame. This will go right on the frame. Alright, then we'll get the jack spans placed underneath here. And they go on another frame rail that's underneath the stand. Okay, everything 
looks good. Bring it down a little bit on the jack stands. Put an impact wrench. has got this rear bumper guard and I got to take that off first before we can take the bolts off inside. Um, just a little bit about the assembly of this back part here. When you put this on you put a longer bolt through and there's actually a nut that's attached to the frame here where the bolts that go through the trunk they get screwed into that. So There's four of them, there's one here, there's one toward the rear and the same thing on the other side. So we'll, we'll take those apart uh, and remove the bumper guard. So we got a nut and a washer. All right, now let's go for this side. I got all the screws off and I put a little box underneath here to kind of be my third hand while I finish taking off the bolts. how much you're going to be able to see of this because it's all inside this trunk. But I'm going to go after the two top bolts first. The bolt over here that has the ground strap on it and the one over here that doesn't. <coughs> Alright, I'm not sure how much you're going to be able to see of this because it's all inside this trunk. But I'm going to go after the two top bolts first. The bolt over here that has the ground strap on it and the one over here that doesn't. Okay, so this bolt with the ground strap right now has another bolt on it. So the ground strap is actually attached to another bolt. So I've got another nut to get off. So it came off with a bolt, I mean, sorry, the nut, and then a washer, then the ground strap, and then another washer, and now we're going for another bolt. So it's not really a bolt, <laughs> it's a bolt with a nut like welded on and then we have this washer. So that's how that all goes together, and then a washer, and then we put the ground strap on, then another washer, and then we put the nut on. That's what we have for this side over here. Over here it looks like we just have a plain old bolt. Sorry, the nut, and then a washer, then the ground strap, and then another washer, and now we're going for another bolt. So it's not really a bolt. <laughs> it's a bolt with a nut like welded on, and then we have this washer. So that's how that all goes together. And then a washer, and then we put the ground strap on, then another washer, and then we put the nut on. That's what we have for this side over here. Over here, it looks like we just have a plain old bolt. And that's it. Go for the ones on the bottom now. Let me see if we can use 
you some power. <sighs> okay, and that's it. These bolts are pretty long, and they did have some, well, what Harley puts on, that white Loctite. So, you're supposed to put that blue Loctite on when you put them back, so we'll have to do that. All right. Now, uh, just two more bolts that we got to remove, and the body should come right off. All right, we got two more bolts, and there's one on each side. It's this bolt right here, and then the body should come right off. And that's it. We'll go around the other side and take that one off. Well, this is something, that, something that's optional, and unfortunately, my wife, who is going to help me remove this body, uh, was a little too heavy for her to lift it with the tour pack on. So I'm going to take the tour pack off, and it's not, it's not really that hard. There's only six nuts underneath inside the trunk here. Then we got to take off and then it'll just lift right off. Okay. <clears throat> now let's get this thing off here. Now we're going to lift the fender off, so just lift it straight up in the air, bring it back, set it down. Thank you. Yeah, here's a kind of an inside look of the uh, back of the trach without the body on. And if we look right there, a little red lever, that's the reset for your backup. Uh, motor if it pops that. It's a reset lever there and the backup motor is actually right there and it looks like it kind of works like a starter. If I can show you the other side of it. There's a toothed gear there and what I'm assuming is that when you hit the reverse that probably pops out and then works that other gear right next to the belt to move it. And then when you disengage it, then it pops back in. On this side, nothing too exciting. The e-brake assembly there. The brake caliper. And then this is the shock that we're going to take off. That's an airline that goes to it there. And you see how I've got the jack stands up on that frame rail. And the back one there is the one that I used to jack it up to put the... Uh, jack stands underneath it. And it's the other shock and the brake assembly. And that's just a little inside. Now we'll start working on the shocks.